Hello everyone, I hope you're well. My name is Rowan Bumbra and I've got a really cool pattern for you that you can use as a groove, as a fill, as a little embellishment. The great thing about this pattern is that you can do it at like 80 BPM or slower, all the way up to like super fast stuff at 240 BPM plus. So let's get into the actual pattern. So the sticking of this is just right, left, left, right, left, right. And we're doing it a mixture of 16th notes and 8th notes. The actual pattern itself takes up two beats in a bar. So it goes right, left, left, right, left, right. Right, left, left, right, left, right. The dynamics of this phrase are what gives it its kind of character, I think. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing a right stroke, as just normal, and then the two left hand strokes are going to be ghosted, and then a normal right hand stroke again, and then an accent with the left hand, and then again, just a normal one on the right hand. So the dynamics are really coming from the left hand here. So I'll just show you how that sounds between the snare drum and the hi-hat. So that in itself is a great little embellishment for grooves. If you're playing a nice soft groove but you don't want to put in a big fill as a transition, you can just slap that in there and it's just a little bit of extra something that makes the groove a bit more interesting to listen to. So we can also use this pattern as a drum fill. So what we can do is we can just leave that left hand on the snare drum and we can just move around the toms of the right hand in any way you see fit. So to make this fill a bit beefier, what we can do is we can add a bass drum whenever we're playing that right hand. So another way we can use this pattern is just as a groove in itself. So what we're doing is we're playing that right hand on the bell and the left hand on the snare. So to make this a bit more cohesive with the bass drum, we can actually add the bass drum whenever the right hand hits the bell. So another way we can use this pattern is to create a really cool polyrhythmic sounding fill. So again, the left hand is staying on the snare, that's just doing its own thing. And what we're going to be doing is, with the right hand, we're going to go alternating from the hi-hat tom, hi-hat tom, hi-hat tom, etc. So basically what I'm saying is every time you use your right hand, it's going to be playing something else. And it could be going between two things, like the first tom and the hi-hat, it could be going between everything, and it starts to sound really cool especially if you're keeping that kind of ostinato with the left hand going as well. So here's an example of that. So really the sky's the limit with this pattern, there's just a few examples there, you can take it as far as you want. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope to see you next time. There's new lessons every Saturday and every Wednesday. So if you're enjoying the content, I'd really appreciate a subscription, but no pressure obviously. Take care.